So I went here and something like this has happened. Also, my feet look terrible. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dwarves. I'm Nermite and today, ladies and gentlemen, I will be building myself a Dwarven settlement. I will be solving puzzles, I will be building making quests and exploring and doing a bunch of other stuff. Now, just so you know, before I'm actually gonna start the video, I'm gonna have to put a disclaimer. This is, uh, I would say, early access. Actually, quite super early access because the official release of this game is on, I think, on 28th or 29th of February. I'm not exactly sure, but something like that. Uh, the developers were very kind to provide me with a key for uh, for this game, so thank you very much. Much appreciated. Now, as I said, in this game, you're supposed to build yourself uh, a dwarven, I guess, settlement, but there's a twist because normally you have, let's say, a view from uh, from above. You build buildings, you send people to gather resources. This one is a bit different. It's actually quite similar to the different game that we have played on the channel, uh, where you control dwarves from the third person perspective. Yeah. So looking forward to that thing because this is apparently supposed to be something quite popular this year since a bunch of games have this mechanic so I'm looking forward what this one can actually offer us. And apparently I'm not starting alone, I'm starting with three different characters over here and each one of them has a biography. Oh, okay, so this one is a gnome and this one is a halfling. Okay, so it's not just dwarves. Alright. He's a very old and very small dwarf. Uh, his age is 42. Wait, does that mean he's old? Don't dwarves live for like 150 years or something like that? And you can of course uh, pick yourself the time, uh, the town name and you can tip, type what type of town this thing will be. So you can, I'm, I'm guessing you can type city, village, town, uh, I don't know, a citadel, something like that. So for now we're gonna go with this one and see how long I can survive without failing. Oh! This is cinematic! How lovely! Alright game! Give me, give me the things, give me the story, give me the need to explore you from the bottom of your ass to the very mouth. Okay. A long time ago, the wee, <laughs> the wee wood elves had a place they called home. It was the only place that I ever knew. Oh my god, <laughs> that's terrifying. Until one day. A disaster forced them to leave their homeland. That's a nice boat. With nowhere else to go, they wandered to the lands of others in search of a new home. Finding ways of adapting, working and living peacefully with the peoples who hosted them. But still, none of them was ever truly a home. With the wood elves now spread across the world, they needed a home. Now more than ever. What does this thing have to do with the dwarves? The High Elf, Queen Salartia, the great leader who ruled over an enormous commonwealth, saw the plight of the Wood Elves and used her skillful diplomacy to strike a deal with the people known as the Nabu. The Nabu had lots of lands and forests to spare that were just right for the wee Wood Elves. And how much did she pay? Nabu were happy to welcome the Wood Elves as their new neighbors, for the Wood Elves, who were naturally good-natured, had created a shining reputation for themselves around the world from their travelers. Queen Solartia knew that colonization was tough. Work, tough work, and the people who had been wandering for a very long time, road weary and surviving, would need some help. So the queen enlisted the best team at the task. With their computability, ingenuity, work ethic, and prosperity for kindness, uh, prosperity of, uh, for kindness, they were set to take on the challenge. Let me guess, this is where my dwarven key, uh, <laughs> team comes in, doesn't it? Uh, okay? Citizens travel faster than roads. Thanks for the tip, I guess. Oh, that was quick. Dwarves! But you look at that! Welcome to our new home, ladies and gentlemen. What in the fuck is happening with this castle? That's a terrible fortification place, you know? <laughs> it's terrible! <laughs> Do you have any knowledge of some basic fortification? Because this one sucks! Oh, unless this is a ruin of an ancient citadel or something like that. Because that's my team. How do I know? Well, <laughs> they walk around like bosses, so obviously they're part of my team. Okay.
Queen Solatia. My royal subjects, you are reading this letter. We are pleased that you have arrived safely at the Duskan Keep. With our very vast empire, there are explorers or colonizers more noble and capable than the than the three of you. Okay, so you're supposed to be some British type of a thing, right? We are comp we are a compensation queen. The time has come for the wandering wood elves refugees to have a new land of their own. They look like walking broccolis, what the shit. If I claim it, the Dusk Queen Keep, build an abundant in the previous colonization temple with a proper treaty from the native temple people. Yes. We have gifted the wood elves with the keep and the rights to those ancient lands so that they may rebuild and salvage their culture. Each of you were chosen on your, uh, for your own unique talents and skills. Together you have the ability to... Explore! Oh, something blew up. <laughs> Gather! And build! All of those skills necessary to conquer this foreign land and help the wood elves restore their own way of life. Professor Money, with his archaeological knowledge, will assist you in understanding these ancient lands. Shut up, phone, I'm trying to be a queen! A Maya Shriek will help with recolonization efforts. How? D. Nice uh, necklace, I guess. We thank you for efforts and wish you luck in your assignment. Your Her Majesty, Queen Solartia. Alright, Your Highness, don't you worry, I got this. You got the best people on the job. Uh. Hey! You made it! Yeah, I did. I'm thinking you start. I think you have issues, you know? How do I know? Because of the fucking picture behind you. Come in! Step into my office, let's talk! Right! Look at me! I'm a Hamzy Dwarf! Ho oh, ho! Oh, that nose tells me everything. <sighs> I'm an alcoholic. Right. Questions? You're having. That's fun. Outstanding, you have arrived. That's fantastic! On behalf of the Wood Elf Nation, you'd like to welcome me to Dusk and Keep. I'm Myra Shriek. Pleased to meet you. Listen, I'm a doer. You know what that means? That means I like to get things done, and I think you do too. You strike me as a doer. That's outstanding. Let's get to it. Let's get down to business, boy! Our first priority is to make sure that the wolf elves arrive in a new Elolet city safely and have a place to live. For this, we need to hold him. Professor Money has given you those artifacts. They are an ancient technology we don't quite understand. Oh, great. So I'm supposed to understand this thing. But I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Why well, have the stupid feeling that she's a bad guy? They called Tarax. You like the name? I give it that name. It's great! Professor Molly and I have one, so you'll be able to communicate with each other at a distance. Did I tell you that did I tell you that they do? That's what they do. Received talk rocks. Oh talk rocks! Okay. Right, so communication thingy. Let's wrap this up. Take those to colleges. Start with gathering Gloria, getting Gloria her talc rock. Looks like she's just outside of my office. Thanks for coming in. Bye! Sure, sure, sure. No problem. All right. Where is my... Uh, no, you're not. I think you're the one. No, that was my team member. Hello. Give the talc work. Oh, okay. So now I can control him. Hey there, it's my Shriek. I see you got the talc rock in one piece. That's outstanding, I like to hear it. Yeah, it's it was really hard to not lose this thing, you know? So let's get to it. I hear you're great at fixing things, a real master mechanic. Would you do me a favor? No. Repair hammer. With the hammer, Gloria can repair anything. Climb up the castle tower and there is uh, over there and fix that broken beacon using your hammer. How come in really handy when anyone gets lost in the forest? They can look up and see the, be the beam, and they'll know how to get back to town. Good idea, right? Hey, tough of that. Yeah, so how about you're gonna go over there and fix it yourself? Alright. We have to do some climbing over here. Climb the... The Duskin Keep. Scatfoldings. Alright, hold on a second. How the heck I can get over there? No, this is a serious question. How... Okay, this is not the thing. Can I go to the tower? Nope! Hmm. 
Okay, first quest, and already I don't I have an issue over here. How the shit? Ah, alright, I see the way to the walls. Can I sprint? No, this is the maximum speed my dwarf is capable of. Great. Right, let's go this way. I think this is actually the proper way to go. Look at this castle! It's a beautiful, a bit crumpet to be honest with you. You know, not really well secured, but I think we can work this thing out one way or another. Right, so let's fix this beacon over here. And the new people will arrive. They will know that this place is safe for them to come here and live a new life. Just not fall on your face because that's gonna be up. Okay, that's a nice job. What the shit, man? <laughs> it's really high up here. <laughs> Why I just couldn't go to a different tower and climb that way? No. Obviously, we have to go. We have to do this thing the hard way. Yep. All right. So how do you fix this thing? Uh, I don't know. How do I repair? Ah. Shift and there you go. Click it, click it, click it, click it, click it, click it, click it. A bit faster, man. <laughs> there you go. Construction progressing. Beautiful. Look at this beauty. So now what? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's the light. I can see the light. Lovely. So now what? Outstanding. You did this. Listen, that's really great. Thanks a lot. It will come in handy for the tanks folks when they arrive, and also for you and your companions when you are out in the woods. Foreman La Iki has been looking around for you. He would like to get over some schematics with you for the new town structures. Head over to the drafting table and have a chat with Foreman Iki. Sure, sure. No problem. I still think she's gonna be the boss in the end game. Howdy dude! How are you doing? Oh, how's it going, boss? My name is Foreman Ike. We don't need on chit chat. Let's get that. Let's do what we are good at at starting uh, and, and <laughs> at and start talking about building, eh? We're gonna need some. Uh, we need to have some of that. What's it called? Infrastructure ready for when the people start showing it. From what I heard, that's already lots of them company kind of, uh, coming out in the woods, waiting for us to get the work. Let's build one of those tents. And now what's this called? Um, garden plot for farming. We got your blueprint drafting table, all set up, all the way I could like it. So you can give it the orders of where to put structures. Bah! But we're gonna need the resources to build it first. Uh, let me just start rock that broody fella because... Cause I hear he's really good at that stuff. Okay. So this guy is supposed to be... Yo, this is for my Ike. Here, working with your buddy Gloria. And we're gonna need some stuff before you can start building. Can you use a solid... Can you do, do us a solid and use your wooden wood axe on some collie trays? Uh, okay, right, so use a <laughs> pickaxe to mine gold. Finally, you can use your pickaxe again to mine stone. We need 240 wood, 20 stone, and 170 gold. Thanks for the help, boss. Yeah, just open me the gate, okay? Will you? Oh, let me guess. Oh, fancy! Wait, can I close it? Can I close it? Fuck yeah! <laughs> We're gonna do some fortifications in the future. Right, equip the axe, and let's start sweeting this bitch like there's no tomorrow! Timber! Oh, 60 wood from one. That's nice. I thought I'm gonna have to spend here an eternity, but no, it's not gonna be that bad. Yay! 50 wood. Okay, I, I like actually like 60 more, but fine, fine. 30 wood. How dare you! Drop me more wood! Okay, that's not enough. And there's some wood over here, and of course gold, and stone! I'm starting to feel like a villager from Age of Empires, you know? <laughs> gold, gold, wood, wood. <laughs> stone, stone. Right, that should be enough, uh, enough wood. Now let's get ourselves some gold over here. Look at this thing! I'm mining this thing like a boss! Like a killing machine! Like a dwarf! Okay, let's get some stone as well. Okay, so only needs 20, right? But I'm gonna gather all of it. Because I am a dwarf. And I'm greedy. Great. Those are all the resources we need for now. Thanks. No problem, man. Now that we have the resources, we need a crafting table and construct your first tent. Okay. Alright, so let's see. Over here, probably. Okay, that's a tent. Benefits. Culture, zero. Economy, zero. Quality of life, one. Blink cost. Tents offer little comfort, but the price is unbeatable. Market. Industry. Farming. Environment. 
entertainment, community, education, government, military, miscellaneous. Design. No idea what this thing is. <laughs> That's fun. Okay. To unlock for design, build four more of those. No, no, I just want to build. Ah, perfect. And now I can actually comment into the building thingy. So, uh, hmm. I'm gonna build you. Okay, there's not that much. Actually, there is quite a lot of space over here. I wonder can I eventually expand the fortress even more. That'd be cool, you know, to actually like build a gigantic fortress. Worthy of the dwarven clan! Uh, okay, so for now let's build you, I guess, over here. Rotate. Okay, this, this should work over here. Okay, and now where I should build a plot to grow food? Uh, you tell me, I guess. Yo, this thing is big. Okay, I have to probably destroy some of the trees. Maybe not exactly. Okay, let's build you here. All done! Now that we have somewhere to grow food and a few beds to sleep in, we can invite a few people into the town. If you find uh, anyone out there, be sure to invite them in. Okay. Hey, and that's me again. I've spoken with Gloria, and it seems like she's set up new now and acquainted a foreman like but I can't seem to get a hold of Holbreed. Listen, I don't mean to micromanagement, but have you given him his talcrot yet? I think I saw him drinking some firewood at your campfire just outside my office. Mind getting it to him now? Dex, you're a real star for this operation. Couldn't do it without ya. Yeah, because it's really hard to move your fucking ass ass as of your stupid ass office to actually help me around, isn't it? You bitch. Hi, dude. Right, give him the talcrot. Oh. Hi, Hobbit. Professor Morn is looking for you. He's heard that uh, story treasure hunter that you are, and he's excited to work with you. Do me a favor and pay him a visit, will you? He won't stop asking me when you're coming in. <laughs> oh, great! I'm Frodo. <laughs> Frodo, that. Frodo, this. Right. Howdy. Oh, you're a Hobbit. I know. I know. I would know your face anywhere. Big fan. My name is Professor Morn. I am the. Foremost leading expert of treasure acquisition and identification. I am really excited to show you an artifact we already found in Identificate. I've studied with a zealous curiosity while you and your companions were on the route here. You discovered a treasure diver. Is it Professor give it that thing its name? The tool has a sense of hiding. Uh, okay, when it's glowing red, you're going the right way. When it starts pulsing energy, you're getting closer. This wonderful little doo doo. Do that is a bone failed treasure detector. It's a difficult for me to use, and dare I say that a few possesses the artism or keen instinct for such things as you. So go ahead and give it a try. See if you can find anything. Okay. So I have to equip it. Right, so if this thing is gonna turn red, then I'm going in the right direction. If it's gonna be pulsing with energy, then that means use the tool with. Oh, so I have to use the tool with the professor. Okay, hold on a second. Right. Okay, it's bubbling, I guess. I don't think... Oh, wait, it's turning red. Hold on a second. I'm going in the right direction? I don't think so. Okay, it's blue. So if those things turn red, that means I'm going... Oh, okay. Somewhere over here. Oh, oh, wait. The colors changed. Something, something, something. Yeah, can you? Oh, okay. Wait, is there a treasure over here? No, that's not the artifact. Okay, so the artifact is somewhere over here. Oh. Okay, it was getting dark red for like a second over there. Is it this way? Dark red. Maybe it's just outside of the city walls. Or maybe it's over here. Or maybe it's actually outside of the city walls. Uh, no idea. Okay, this thing is... I have no idea. Okay, it's dark red. Wait, there's a gate over there. Okay, let's try to go through here. Hmm. I don't see any artifacts yet. Why? So I went here and something like this has happened. Also, my feet look terrible. 
Okay, so now what? Uh, I have no idea what the heck I'm supposed to do. Oh my god, that's a gigantic map. Holy shit! Found something here. Interesting. The device must be sentient near something nearby. Oh, okay. So, ah, so that's how it works. I have to because I was pressing this thing only for a second. You have to press it and hold it. Okay, so now, all right. That's I went too far away. If this thing is gonna increase... Okay, that's not, not it. So the treasure is somewhere over here? No, wait a second. That was thing was turning red for like a second over here. Hmm. I don't really like this, this treasure hunting mechanic. <laughs> it's a waste of my time! I think I'm getting close or I'm actually summoning Satan himself. Oh, oh. Seriously? <laughs> a magical fucking chest just spawned out of thin air. Yeah, okay, whatever. And inside? Na 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 na! That's the best you have? Splendid! You did find something. Gold! The mayor and the former will be absolutely thrilled. That will surely help the building effort. Couldn't help me the overheating that you'll be thrilled. Also, you overheat everything. What I, what I mean is, I was listening in. I'm glad everything is going well and that you know how to use this treasure divider. Give it I gave it that name by the way. Listen, I've already contacted your companions and we agreed that we uh, we all need to come in for a meeting. Meet us back in the office? I guess so. Why does the baker sell east? To rise dove. That's a joke, a little humor for the, to break the ice. That's management one on one. I wrote a, I wrote a book on that, it's great. I sent a copy for you before you go. Uh, let's table that for now and uh, let's talk about why I called you in here. Yeah, that's a good question. There's a cave not far from here, if you follow the path. It was all walled up on the giant boulder, but we were able to blow it up with a bomb we've imported. Very expensive. As Professor Money expected, that cave is not a natural formation. It looks like an ancient tunnel. We haven't gone inside yet, because it might be very dangerous. Who knows what's down there? That's why we are leaving this to experts. Uh, leaving it to the experts. You free. But I realized that you uh, only just arrived and that is all very sudden. I understand that you may want to uh, want a change to stretch your legs or explore around a little bit. If you want to gather resources, build some town structures or look for treasures, that's all great to do. Uh, oh, and if you come across any campers out in the wilderness, be sure to invite them to join the new city. All three of you should have the folders that I've made up for you. Uh, I'm such a A-tip personality. They contain all of the info you need, to, you need to go about your business. Be sure to check those out. Sure. Whatever you're ready, you can head down to the cave. There's no rush. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure, there's no rush. You're... What the fuck is happening? Yo, what the shit, man? What the heck is this thing? Transporter. Oh! Great! I can teleport my ass around here. Sweet! I built myself another tent, uh, actually two tents and a new farming... Uh, nope, whatever thing. So, I'm gonna send out the Hobbit because he has the... Well, treasure searching device. And I hope that actually he'll be also able to... Find somebody who'll be keen enough to join our little settlement over there. And also, apparently there's supposed to be a treasure somewhere around this place. Hello, Mr. Bunny Boy. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Okay, that's the cave that the mayor spoke about. Apparently, and there's supposed to be some type of a treasure over there. Okay, no treasure over here. There is something here, though. Wait, it was going really dark red, and all of a sudden it decided not to go dark red. Why? Not that way. Okay, I don't see any new people who can potentially join my little settlement. Where the shit is the treasure? Found some wood, that's nice. But still, that's not the thing I'm looking for. Alright, where the fuck are some people who will be willing enough and stupid enough to join me? I promise almost zero taxes, and by that I mean 99%. And probably death of starvation. Hmm. Well, still- oh. I see tents! I think we found somebody! Hi guys! 
Wolf of Campus, would you like uh, would you like for like uh for like to live in your Yeah, sure. We would love to join, but there's not enough space for us. Aha, so I have to build one more tent. Okay, try teleport to this guy because he's capable of building stuff right now. And just build another tent. Hi there, me again. What? I'm busy. I still to see a lot of tents out there. I mean, it's great for you building houses to live in, but we're not going to be uh, reaching our five star town rating with those. Have you tried mashing together some designs concepts on the draft table? Oh. Oh, okay, so that's how you get new stuff. So you combine stuff together and get yourself new new blueprints. Okay, that's nice, but for now, I want you to join me. Okay, they're gonna pack their things and they're gonna leave immediately. Yay, they left. Fantastic, well, we have our first citizens. Keep them coming. Dance force can be monitored from the citizen tab on the other right menu. Now we can focus our attention on getting our town rating up. We are one star colony. This must be, this must reflect before the annual co conference of Admat mayors or I'll be in a laughing stock. Our objective is to earn five stars to rating, but let's start by earning two stars first. We'll need to find more people to join on the right buildings to construct in order to increase quality of life, economy and culture. Town rating is found in the overview menu. Okay, whatever. So did the people actually joined? Okay, got this person inside of the town, I guess. Yeah, they did join! Wait, what? Uh, our city isn't producing enough food for everyone. Oh, what? So how many fucking fuels do I need for you to create enough fucking food? Excuse me! Holy shit, there's a bunch of tents around here. With a bunch of people around to join me as well. That's nice. And there's some more people over here as well. Oh, that's gonna... Wait, what? Okay, I didn't move my scroll yet. Hello, Mr. Bear. How are you? <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Right, so... Ooh, is that a big bad wolf? No, it's just a bear who... <laughs> it's just a bear who's a pussy. <laughs> He's running away from me. Okay, one person over here. Right, okay. This is progressing nicely. So I'm gonna definitely need to send the dwarf to clean out the trees and gold deposits and stone deposits within the city and then we need to try to design ourselves a little bit better housing but then again I could try to actually go into the mine or whatever thing that is into the crypt and get myself some new uh I don't know treasures blueprints hard to say we're gonna probably find out was that gonna be the thing for the f in the future episodes because for now ladies and gentlemen I think I'm just gonna leave this thing as over here as I said before uh the game is not available on the day when I'm recording this to people just yet. We have to wait for the end of February. Uh, but then again, it's showing promises. It's actually really chill. So if you enjoy a town building game with a twist and you actually enjoy, uh, let's say those, you know, old style exploration games with a little bit of a puzzle spice over there, then I'm guessing you're gonna have a bunch of fun in this title. But as I said, we're gonna dive deeper into it during the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked the episode, please up a lot. I'll see you all in the next video.